From WBKO News, local, first, now, this is WBKO News at 4. Right now, a breaking news alert from WBKO News. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Gene Burke. We have breaking news now on WBKO at 4. A large fire has broken out at ComFuel, and several roads have been closed to keep traffic away. The St. Joseph Interparochial School has also been evacuated. WBKO's Sarah Phipps is live on scene. She'll, we'll get to her report as soon as we can. Today, investigators are aboard the massive container ship that crashed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. They're reviewing damage and collecting evidence. Six construction workers who are on the bridge are believed to have fallen into the river when the bridge collapsed and are presumed dead. The Coast Guard is now trying to recover their bodies. ABC's Christiane Codero has the latest from Baltimore. We apologize for our earlier difficulties, and now the subject of a controversial Wisconsin murder trial is coming to WKU tonight to speak to students. According to the sponsor of the event, Turning Point USA, Kyle Rittenhouse will be discussing the Second Amendment and the, quote, lies, end quote, of the Black Lives Matter movement. Rittenhouse was accused of shooting three Black Lives Matter protesters, two of them fatally, in Kenosha, Wisconsin in 2021, in 2020. But in a 2021 trial, he was found not guilty of any charges, claiming self-defense. Rittenhouse is scheduled to speak in the Downing Student Union at 7 p.m. Earlier this week, the university released a statement on the event, reading in part, the university creates the space for the critics to operate, but is not the critic itself. If WKU were to compromise our institutional neutrality in response to donors, alumni, politicians, activists, and others, we would jeopardize our faculty and students' ability to challenge controversial and uncomfortable ideas. Madisonville police have arrested the stepfather of the boy who died earlier this month after eating strawberries. This past weekend, the eight-year-old boy was laid to rest. And yesterday, the stepfather, 33-year-old Antonio Pearson, was arrested and charged with multiple drug and gun possession charges, including trafficking fentanyl. He is now in the Hopkins County Jail with a $1 million cash bond. 
The Kentucky State Police Electronic Crime Branch arrested a man on charges related to child sexual abuse material. 25-year-old Briar Scott was arrested as the result of an undercover Internet Crimes Against Children investigation. KSP says Scott was sharing images of child sexual exploitation online. The investigation resulted in a search warrant at a Bowling Green residence on Tuesday. Equipment used to facilitate the crime was seized and taken to KSP's forensic laboratory for examination. Scott is charged with 10 counts of distribution of matter portraying a minor in a sexual performance. These charges are Class D felonies, punishable by one to five years in prison. Scott was lodged in the Warren County Detention Center on a $50,000 cash bond. This week, an Illinois man originally from Fort Campbell was sentenced to life in federal prison for the aggravated sexual abuse of a minor. According to court documents, while enlisted in the U.S. Army and stationed in Fort Campbell Military Reservation, 40-year-old Larry Brian Nash knowingly caused a minor to engage in sexual acts for several years. And we're taking a live look right now outside of WBKO Studios. You may actually be able to notice here the smoke plume right here. That is from that large fire that has broken out uh, in portions of Bowling Green, now near the western campus. We saw it from the campus point of view, and it has now since pushed away from the area. We can actually even see it on Doppler Max. We don't have any sort of precipitation nearby, but this green blob that you see here, that is the smoke that has entered into the atmosphere and is now starting to push away. So hopefully that is extinguished. Uh, here shortly. Uh, we are in now officially 12 days away from the eclipse that will be taking place on April 8th across much of the United States, even locally here in Kentucky. But, uh, you know, it's pretty exciting time and we're still a little too far out to know exactly for cloud cover, but we'll keep a close eye on that as we get closer. As we look around the area, uh, Franklin at 52 degrees, Scottsville at 52 and Elkton at 55 degrees around the area. Temperatures are a bit cooler than what they typically would be uh, for this time of year, but we are for the most part in the low to mid 50s across the region, and we are expecting over the next 13 hours those temperatures to drop down towards the freezing point, but we should stay just above. We could see some areas of frost. I'll cover that in my full forecast coming up in just a little bit. Wages being paid to teachers in the state of Kentucky are what some consider to be unlivable between the low pay and high living expenses. Briarwood special education teacher Whitney Rager has been a teacher for the past nine years. She says her passion for teaching came after being a special ed peer tutor in high school. But with groceries, rent, child care, and other bills, Rager says she has had to find other ways to get additional income outside the classroom. I recently became a single mom of two. I have a four-year-old and an 18-month-old, um, and it's hard. You know, making forty-some thousand dollars a year it doesn't cut it. So by this summer, I'll actually have, including teaching, three jobs. Rager added that while teachers often do get a few hundred dollars at the beginning of the school year, many of them also use their own money to buy items for their classrooms. We'll have the full story tonight on WBKO News at six. With surrounding school districts either on or preparing for spring break, many students and their parents are looking for something to do. Bluebird Lane Market, a craft store in Russellville, is inviting people of all ages to join in their daily crafting workshops. WBKL reporter William Battle went to Russellville to learn more about the spring break craft orama. With children already out of school or preparing to be out of school for spring break, some children and families will be looking for activities to do together. We want to offer you opportunities to learn some new skills, to uh, play with some things you've not maybe used before, some tools you've not worked with, and we want to give you the opportunity to uh, you know, fight the boredom buster. We want to be that boredom buster for you where you can come in and make something. Bluebird Lane Market in Russellville is offering daily workshops for people of all ages during their spring break craft arrival. We just want to be that place where people can come and relax by being alone and create or that they can come together with friends and create and just to meet the needs of where you are. And we have activities, uh, crafts, projects, kits for all ages. While they do have various workshops scheduled during the week, you can also call ahead and plan your own projects. If you want to give me a heads up, if you already know there's a project that you're planning to come make, you might touch base with me and we can just make sure we have all the supplies ready for you uh, when you get here. We also offer workshops um, where you can come in and learn with a group. And so we'll walk you through how to use tools and you know how to use the supplies to create things. Bluebird Lane has a space for everyone. 
We have our market, which is for local artisans to sell. And then we also have our studio space. And so we have a place for youth and children. We have a safe space for them with projects geared toward their interests and skill sets. But we also have a space for adults to come and they can create also. And we have workspaces for them and projects. Most of all, it's about bringing people together. We want to do something for the community to bring people together. That's really important to us. Create opportunities for families to be together and enjoy time together. You can go to our website, WBKO.com, for more information. Reporting in Russellville, William Battle, WBKO News. More than 50 canine teams from across the country have gathered in Scottsville for the week, eager to train and compete in the 11th annual On Point Canine Competition. In a secluded block in Allen County, five homes and their properties are being used for narcotics detection and tracking drills for the dogs. The new environment means a level playing field for all competing dogs as they track sex fests through the woods and test their skills in time trials. Some teams have trained together for years and will be competing for the top prizes, while others are happy to take the week as a chance to learn from other department's dogs and officers. I'm using this more as a training opportunity, and I've there's the... Uh, the abundance of knowledge here and help that we're getting to make our dogs better and us better is 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 excellent here. It's very it's great. It's to me it's it's not just, it's more of a training opportunity than it is a competition. The overall winners of the competitions will be crowned on Friday. But for the jobs, or rather for the dogs, a job well done is all the reward they're hoping for. One year ago today, lives in Nashville were changed forever after a shooting at the Covenant School. And instead of focusing on the shooter, we're focusing on the six lives lost. Here are their photos. Mike Hill, who was a custodian at the school. Catherine Kuntz was the head of Covenant. Cynthia Peak, a substitute teacher. Three children, all nine years old. Evelyn Dykhouse, William Kinney, and Haley Scruggs. Jolyn Bukovac was able to talk to Hallie's family just yesterday. Her aunt says this last year has just been hard on everyone. It's been a tough year for all of Hallie's family members. I'm told she was really close to her brothers and her boy cousins. And even though she was greatly outnumbered, she could still keep up with the boys. It's been a full year of birthdays and holidays spent without her. And Hallie's aunt tells me during hard times like this, clinging on to the fun memories they made with Hallie is what's getting them through. One of, one of my sons is three days younger than Hallie. So they were very, very close. And he would tell you that, you know, Hallie was his best friend, his other half, like the person who completed him. And when we came in town last year after the shooting, um, we met so many kids who said that exact same thing about her, that like she was their person. So many kids that just like when she was with you, she made you feel like you were the only person in her world. Hallie's aunt described her as authentic and sweet, and she had a way of making everyone around her feel seen and valued. Hallie has been greatly missed throughout this past year. In just about an hour, there should be a huge showing of support for Covenant across the city of Nashville. Voices for Safer Tennessee will have another Linking Arms for Change event across the city. They're hoping for 13,000 people tonight. This is WBKO News at 4. The epic 911 episode that left you hanging continues Thursday. Bobby and Athena's cruise ship is missing. Let's go! We're flying into a hurricane. 911, Thursday, 8, 7 central on ABC. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Whoa. How do they get these things to smell so good? Hefty, hefty. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Must be magic. Hefty Ultra Strong with Fabuloso Scent. The epic 911 episode that left you hanging. Ah! I am going to be right there. Continues Thursday. Bobby, you okay? Ah. Strap in. Bobby and Athena's cruise ship is missing. For a wild ride. Let's go! We're flying into a hurricane. I can't see anything. Go back, go back! Don't miss an edge of your seat. Mayday, mayday, mayday! 911, Thursday, 8, 7 central on ABC and stream on Hulu. You were always so dedicated. We worked hard to build up the shop, save for college in our retirement. But we got there thanks to our advisor and vanguard. Now I see who all that hard work was for. It was always for you. Seeing you carry on our legacy, I'm so proud. 
At Vanguard, you're more than just an investor. You're an owner, setting up the future for the ones you love. That's the value of ownership. You are busy, working, parenting, problem solving. At New Chapter Vitamins, we've been busy too. Innovating, sourcing organic ingredients, testing them, and fermenting. Fermenting? Yeah, like kombucha or yogurt. And we formulate everything so your body can really, truly absorb the natural goodness. That's what we do. So you can do you. New Chapter. Wellness well done. The epic 911 episode that left you hanging ah. continues Thursday. Bobby and Adina's cruise ship is missing. Well, let's go. We're flying into a hurricane. 911, Thursday, 8, 7 central on ABC. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Whoa. How do they get these things to smell so good? Hefty, hefty. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Must be magic. Hefty Ultra Strong with Fabuloso Scent. The epic 911 episode that left you hanging. Ah! I am going to be right there. Continues Thursday. Bobby, you okay? Ah! Strap in. Bobby and Athena's cruise ship is missing. For a wild ride. Well, let's go. We're flying into a hurricane. I can't see anything. Go back, go back. Don't miss an edge of your seat. Mayday, mayday, mayday. 911, Thursday, 8, 7 central on ABC and stream on Hulu. The epic 911 episode that left you hanging ah. continues Thursday. Bobby and Athena's cruise ship is missing. Well, let's go. We're flying into a hurricane. 911, Thursday, 8, 7 central on ABC. The epic 911 episode that left you hanging. I am going to be right there. Continues Thursday. Bobby, you okay? Ah. Strap in. Bobby and Athena's cruise ship is missing. For a wild ride. Well, let's go. We're flying into a hurricane. I can't see anything. Go back, go back. Don't miss an edge of your seat. Mayday, mayday, mayday. 911, Thursday, 8, 7 central on ABC and stream on Hulu. First Alert Weather, sponsored by Med Center Health. And uh, looking outside, pretty pleasant out there. The sun is shining. A little bit cooler, though, than typical for this time of year. As we look out at the traffic, people are heading home, heading getting ready to maybe enjoy a little bit of the evening, maybe some of that sunshine that is still out there for today. As we look at our weather headlines over for over the next couple of days, we do see a warming trend, uh, which will bring some much more uh, 
comfortable temperatures outdoors, especially like into this weekend. We are do stay dry for a few more days, but the rain will return for next week. As we look at temperatures right now, we're at 55 degrees here in Bowling Green. That calm wind makes it feel pretty comfortable outside, maybe even a touch warmer if you're standing in the sunshine. But temperatures across the region, we are sitting in the low to mid 50s across much of the area. And those temperatures are expected to come down overnight tonight, even if bringing a few areas of frost. Doppler Max shows a clean sweep. We do have some of those clouds pushing through the area, especially well off to our east. And you can still see this system, that the one that had pushed through yesterday, that is still trucking along. It is through the Carolinas right now. But for us right now, we have that high pressure building in that will give us a few dry days ahead. As we look at future Max running through it for tomorrow morning, we start off with abundant sunshine. There's no clouds overhead. We head through into Thursday afternoon afternoon into evening. That sunshine continues, so it will be a rather pleasant day out there. Heading into Friday morning, again, even more sunshine. A few clouds may try to uh, mix in there, but again, it will be rather the higher type, which will be uh, much thinner, but still the sunshine nonetheless will be plenty out there for much of Friday. Some of those clouds will then start to push in for the evening and then into Saturday morning we start to see the cloud covers start to pick up a little bit but we do stay dry. For tonight we are looking at temperatures near 34 degrees with frost possible so again if you do have any outdoor plants be sure to bring those inside or even give them a little bit of protection out there. It could lay a sheet overhead but just make sure that you take that off soon so that way it doesn't actually kill the plant by the time the sun is up. Taking a peek at the weekend, we do have Good Friday coming up as well as Easter on Sunday. Temperatures are in the low to mid 70s. We do have that southwest breeze that sticks around, so it could bring a, a little bit more uh, blustery conditions out there. But looking at the next seven days, temperatures we really do warm up through uh, this weekend and then even into portions of Monday. We are keeping a close eye on some of the rain that we'll be pushing in for Monday and into. Tuesday. Could have some uh, thunder mixing in there as well and uh, keeping a close eye on the potential for severe weather as of right now with nothing sticking out like a sore thumb but nonetheless some rain will be pushing in for Monday and Tuesday and then turning more seasonable by next Wednesday. Danica Davis. Two well-known celebrities have come forward this month with the diagnosis of skin cancer. Model Christy Brinkley and fitness celebrity Richard Simmons. Both say they've been treated for basal cell carcinoma. Every year in the U.S., there are an estimated 3.6 million new cases of this disease diagnosed, according to the Skin Cancer Foundation. But when it's caught early, most cases are curable. In today's Health Minute, Mandy Gaither shows what this type of cancer looks like and explains how to protect yourself. It's the most common type of skin cancer, but basal cell carcinoma is also one of the most easily cured when detected and treated early. Often because they present um, without any significant major issues, like it's not necessarily painful, uh, oftentimes they can be ignored. Basal cell carcinoma can look different from one person to another. These pictures from the Skin Cancer Foundation show the warning signs, including an open sore that doesn't heal, a shiny bump or or nodule that can also be pearly or clear or another color and can be mistaken for a normal mole, a scar-like area that is flat, white, yellow, or waxy in color, a reddish patch or irritated area, and a small pink growth with a slightly raised rolled edge and a crusted indentation in the center. Sun-exposed areas are where these cancers are most often found, says dermatologist Susan Masick with Ohio State University's Wexner Medical Center. Places like the face, and particularly the nose, the lips, the ears, uh, but anywhere on the face is fair game, as well as sun-exposed areas on the arms and the hands, as well as, as the upper shoulders and back. Masick says to protect skin by wearing sun protective clothing, using sunscreen every day, reapply it every two to three hours sooner than that if you're sweating or swimming, and replace sunscreen every year. An expired product may not offer as much protection. And if you find anything on your skin that's new or changing, see a doctor. For Health Minute, I'm Andy Gaither. The Skin Cancer Foundation says tanning beds are never safe for skin. The organization says indoor tanning increases your risk of basal cell carcinoma, 
squamous cell carcinoma, and melanoma. How did I ever miss this? Before you were preventing migraine with Q-Lipta? You'll never truly forget migraine, but zero migraine days are possible. Don't take up allergic to Q-Lipta. Most common side effects are nausea, constipation, and sleepiness. Q-Lipta, the forget you get migraine medicine. The epic 911 episode that left you hanging. I am going to be right there. Continues Thursday. Bobby, you okay? Strap in. Bobby and Athena's cruise ship is missing. For a wild ride. Let's go. We're flying into a hurricane. I can't see anything. Go back, go back. Don't miss an edge of your seat. Mayday, mayday, mayday. 911, Thursday, 8, 7 central on ABC and stream on Hulu. The epic 911 episode that left you hanging ah. continues Thursday. Bobby and Athena's cruise ship is missing. Well, let's go. We're flying into a hurricane. 911, Thursday, 8, 7 central on ABC. Easter is less than a week away, and consumer spending is expected to top $22 billion. According to the National Retail Federation, a total of $22.4 billion is expected to be spent this year. People celebrating are predicted to spend an average of $177. Food is expected to be the highest spending category, followed by clothing, then gifts. Meanwhile, the price of cocoa surged to an all-time high on Tuesday. This means you could be paying more for chocolate in the stores and that Easter candy. Dollar Tree is raising the maximum price on store items from $5 to $7. CEO Rick Dryling shared the change in an earnings call earlier this month. He said the price increase is due to a wealthier customer base. Dryling says the retailer's fastest growing demographic is people who earn at least $125,000 a year. Three years ago, the company raised the base price of items to $1.25. This past June, it set a new cap at $5. Dollar Tree reported a net loss of more than $1.7 billion in the quarter ending February 3rd. In response, it announced plans to close nearly 1,000 stores. The epic 911 episode that left you hanging continues Thursday. Bobby and Athena's cruise ship is missing. Well, let's go! We're flying into a hurricane. 911, Thursday, 8, 7 central on ABC. The epic 911 episode that left you hanging. Ah! I am going to be right there. Continues Thursday. Bobby, you okay? Ah! Strap in. Bobby and Athena's cruise ship is missing. For a wild ride. Well, let's go. We're flying into a hurricane. I can't see anything. Go back, go back. Don't miss an edge of your seat. Mayday, mayday, mayday. 911, Thursday, 8, 7 central on ABC and stream on Hulu.
Thank you for joining us here on WBK News at 4. More local news coming your way in just 30 minutes. But for now, Inside Edition is next. We'll see you back here for WBK News at 5 with more on the fire in Bowling Green.